many games stand out from my childhood, uh, one of those being an awesome hidden gem called Wings of War for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I remember I was about seven years old, and I loved the game so much that I wanted to be like the hero from the game War. Uh, of course, I couldn't grow wings on my back or fly around or anything like that. I mean, I pretend I would. Uh, but what I would do is um, I would make a bowl of popcorn, and I would eat all the way through the uh, popcorn and get to the bottom of the bowl and the popcorn kernels that would remain I would take a handful of those I'd put them in my mouth and I would run around the house uh, spitting spitting out the popcorn kernels you know pretending that I was the character war from the game and pretend that I was shooting out uh, the bullets like the character does in the game um, he's actually shooting out like lightning bolts but you know I thought they were bullets when I was younger and um, it was funny, it pissed my mom off because she would have to you know, go around the house cleaning up the popcorn kernels, but it was a lot of fun and definitely definitely the impact the game um, had left on me as a kid and uh, still to this day uh, I play this game like crazy. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, the game was released in 1991 and is also known as Gainug. It was developed by NCS, which stands for Nippon Computer Systems. And it was published by DreamWorks. And the game you play is War. He's a winged battle master with the power to hurl bolts of energy. And he can manipulate magic forces of nature. He resides on Ikus, which is the planet of flying men. Uh, one day, the evil destroyer unleashes a virus on the planet that outbreaks and mutates into creatures that overrun the planet. You'll notice all these different uh, enemies and creatures that you're fighting. There's these gnome kind of characters that are floating by and they look like a gnome that you would find on like your neighbor's lawn or something. So as war, you know, you take take to the skies and you are on a mission to take down the destroyer and his enemies and to bring peace to the planet. And you go through six levels of action and each level you'll face off on with a mid boss and an end of round boss. And e each boss has their own uh, weak spot you just gotta look for and shoot uh, to destroy them. And you know, in addition, you'll you know battle against the other mutant creatures that are set on killing you. To help assist War with taking down all the baddies and breaking up your high score, you can shoot these blue crystals that that float on by the screen, which release a special item, in, including a speed feather that you'll notice. Now, what this does is it increases War speed by eight times. Uh, orb of power, <clears throat> excuse me, the orb of power, which increases the power of your firearm up to five times. And uh, Amber Gem will allow you to fire in front and behind you, along with many more power-ups that you pick up along the way. Uh, so you get a lot of cool weapons, and from you know stage one, uh, you're getting some cool uh, power upgrades. Um, I should note the game reminds me the the graphics, I should say, remind me a lot of uh, Subterranea on Sega Genesis, another really awesome uh, Sega Genesis shooter, space shooter game. Um, so I'd recommend checking that game out too. It's really good. So, you know, although uh, War, you know, has the ability to manipulate magic, he can also um, have the, he also has these magic upgrades through these scrolls. You see these little scrolls that pop up on the screen, and one of them includes an energy ball scroll, which activates a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I couldn't resist. Uh, so what that does is it'll spin around War to absorb enemy bullets. Uh, the lightning bolt scroll calls upon lightning to electrocute and destroy on-screen enemies. Um, and then when you collect the wildfire scroll, once that's activated, war will shoot wildfire um, while your attack will generate an expanding wall of bullets to destroy everything in your path. So that's a pretty nifty uh, weapon. And you know, you'll collect your scrolls and at the touch of a button, you select which uh, scroll you want to use. And then with the other button, your C button, you'll fire uh, your special weapon from your scroll. Wings of War, it's an amazingly fun side-scrolling shooter uh, that's just as fun to play today as it was back in 1991. I know I still play it like crazy today. Uh, not to mention the music to this game. I mean, from level one to the you know to the you know stage six, uh, music really breathtaking in this game. Uh, really complements the gameplay and the atmosphere and the atmosphere very nicely. Uh, fans of space shooters like R-Type and Zaxxon, you guys won't want to miss this. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun side-scrolling shooter. So here I am now, 24 years old, and you know what? You're only as young as you feel, and the little kid inside of me will never go away. 
So what the hell? I'm gonna go fix some popcorn and spit some kernels. Now, if only I would have thought to have spit those kernels at all the teachers I hated back in the day. <laughs> this is Jim Combs saying, tune in next week for another exciting episode of Spotlight. <laughs>